Today I'm going to show you how to make a large snowman out of the sweater. Um, it's the same sweater that I used to make my small snowman that I had uh, posted uh, before. So it's um, all going to be out of the same sweater, different size snowman. So the materials you'll need to make your large snowman is um, two balls. Now I got these in Michael's. Michael's didn't sell, and I don't know if anyone does sell like solid balls, but um, they sell them in pieces. So I got a five inch um, ball and I got a 3.8 inch ball. So it's just two parts and they have little grooves in them so that they fit together. Um, and then your sweater. So if you um, did my snowman sweater, you'll have a sweater available. It, uh, it would take one of the center pieces of the sweater to make one snowman. And then some uh, beans, uh, fabric scissors, some tacky glue, some thread that matches your uh, sweater and you will need a sewing machine for this project. Okay, so let's get started. So for the big snowman, I'm going to use the center of my um, sweater. I already used the arms for the little snowman. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this across at the armpits and I'm gonna use the bottom and then I'm gonna measure my balls and I'm gonna sew it um, into two pieces because I'll need one for the head and then one for the body. So once I measure it to the ball, I might have to trim it down a little bit more, but what I'm hoping to be able to do is, um, is use, cut this in half so each half and use one for the bottom and one for the top. So after you uh, measured and cut, what I did was I just took my sweater, wrapped it around the ball until it was tight and I pinned it with some, some needles so I knew exactly uh, how wide I wanted it. And then what I did was I just ran a stitch down the inside of the um, snowman so you have a tube like this so one of them is a little bit smaller than the other and like I said I had a um, let me see mine was a large sweater so for the large sweater I had enough material to do both so you want the tube to fit tight but not too tight but it, it is stretchy so you'll be able to stretch it a little bit pin it and then sew it down so once you have them sewn, the two tubes, then what you want to do is follow the same technique we did with our snowman and our pumpkin. Um, you want to gather the thread ar around, you know, weave it in and out around it. Now you'll notice with this one, I didn't do it until it was tight. I left a hole and there's a reason for that. So I will show you once I put the, um, the sweater on, but I went ahead and in, I did them both inside out and I weaved the thread around and gathered it, but I left a hole in both. So I feel that in order for the snowman to really um, sit, what you're gonna need is some weight for it. So I am gonna add some beans to the snowman. This one probably a half a bag, if not three quarters of a bag of beans are gonna go into the base. And that'll just give it some weight so that it, it stays down. Then I'm gonna take my tacky glue and I'm gonna run glue around both of the balls so that I glue them together because I feel that if you don't glue them together, they may not stay together once you have it in place. They might because the the um, fabric's gonna be pretty tight around the ball, but go ahead and glue them. And you don't want a hot glue because hot glue will melt styrofoam. So you definitely wanna use like a tacky glue. 
So this is the top part. So I'm not gonna add any beans and I'm just gonna glue it together. And make sure you take your stickers off. Okay, so you're gonna turn your sweater right side out and you're gonna put your sweater, cover your ball. And I'm trying to keep my seam so that it's straight, just in case it does come apart. Um, I think it'll be more secure if it's like that. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna tuck my fabric underneath and I'm gonna pull it really tight. So this will be what your head's gonna sit on. So that way, when you glue, you're gonna glue around here and it'll give it a nice flat base. If you had bunched it close together, it would have created too much of a bump and it wouldn't be sitting flat. And so what I wanna do is I, I have all this extra material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch close to here so that it makes it nice and tight. So I um, just gathered this up and I, I weaved the thread inside and out to pull it tight. So I wanted to do that first to make sure I liked the way it looked before I actually cut this fabric off because once you cut it off, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this fabric off, tuck it in, and then pull it as tight as I can. So I've gone ahead and pulled it as tight as I can. I'm not worried about this um, at the top because this is where you're gonna put a hat over. So you're not gonna see any type of bump. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull it as tight as I can, and then I'm just gonna knot it off. So I gathered the top and I tucked the inside. So it, it, it was only about this much. It was just the band of the sweater and I just pull it tight enough so that then these two are going to go together and then your scarf will cover this area here so it'll sit really nicely and the bottom I did the same thing I left this hole so that's like your base and that way it sits and the beams inside help to keep it stable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knot this off and then we're gonna glue our two pieces together. Okay, now to position your head with your body, what I did was I made sure my seams are in the back because that may be the back, that may be the front, but I just want my sweater consistent going around. And I think this is the side I'm gonna use. So I just adjusted my knit so that I make sure the head is slightly tilted upward um, you don't want it, you know, so that it's down. So make sure you pick your front. Make sure you have all your stuff lined up so that your um, threads are even. And so I'm going to just put that in the back. Put this off like this so I know I can just put it right up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line of glue around the fabric part. Because like I said, if you get it on this, it will melt it. Not that it's a big deal because they will go together, but um, just so that you're aware that that will happen. And then just push it down. And there you have your snowman. So I'm now going to take a little bit of time to figure out exactly the supplies we're going to need to decorate our snowman. Um, and that'll be kind of like a stage two. Okay, so the materials that I have gathered, I had a baby's hat. Um, it was hand knitted for me and I had saved it to use as a craft one day. So this is perfect time. If you've been following the whole um, sweater snowmen, um, the scarf that I had bought at the dollar store, I had used half of it for 
these two snowmen and I had a whole strip. So I'm gonna use that as the scarf. And then also the clay noses that I showed you how to make. If you were paying attention to that video, you will notice that I had a large one. So I had already planned to use this. So this is the baked clay that I shaped into a carrot nose. And then I have some buttons and the same snowflakes that I used on the small. I'm going to use three on the large with some gems for the center of the snowflake to decorate it up. So the first thing I did was just put my hat on his head, just basically like that. Now the scarf, instead of tying the scarf, I thought it would be a cute idea to fold your scarf in half like so, wrap it around him and put the ends through the loop like that and then just pull it tight. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue his buttons on his body. So I would recommend starting with the first button and then um, doing the upper and lower. And so you're just gonna put a dab of glue down and uh, put your button down. Just be careful of your placement of your buttons. Make sure you're paying attention to whether you're gonna put your button holes lined up this way or going the other way. It doesn't really matter which way. So just be careful of the placement of your buttons as you're gluing them on. Make sure that you're lining them up correctly. And then place one up top. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is place my carrot nose on, um, however you decide you wanna do it. And again, it's just a dot of glue. And then I place my eyes on. Now, I don't like to give my snowmen mouths. I don't know, I just don't like it. So, and I like to put his eyes tiny and close together, but it's really your preference as to how you wanna do it. Um, there's no right or wrong. So I just put a dab of glue, glue the one eye, and then the other. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the snowflakes on the hat and these are peel and stick, but I like to add a little bit of extra hot glue just to make sure that they're going to stick. So I hope you enjoy the sweater craft that I have made the two sets of snowmen and the pumpkins. They've all been a lot of fun to make. Um, and I really, really love how the big snowman turned out. And if this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna receive future notification and posts, hit the bell. And if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.